This is the finale of The Sims Spark. Going insane. Two teams remain, Team Llama and Team Cowplan. I don't even know how the hell I'm still here, let alone in the final two. With one final challenge to decide it all. I'm freaking out. Yeah. Oh my God. To get here, these two teams were put to the test with a head-to-head -head face off in the final skills challenge. Stylist versus stylist. I'm feeling quite a bit of pressure. Builder versus builder. And storyteller versus storyteller. <laughs> And as the votes were revealed, it was a dead heat until the final vote was cast. Winning the skills challenge made me feel really, really good. Now, Team Llama with Dr. Glue on, Sim Lissy, and X Mirror Mirror look to continue this hot streak in the final elimination challenge. There's $100,000 on the line. We're not going to give up. Team Cow Plants, Dr. Ashley, Little Siha, and their newest member, the English Simmer, stand in their way. There's definitely a chance that we can win this. It all comes down to this. I'm freaking out right now. Is this the theme that's going to win you $100,000? We hope so. One final challenge. Oh my god. Such a wild roller coaster of emotions. The winner of Sparked is. This is The Sims Sparked. I'm in the finale! I would love to win. I'm so proud that I've made it this far. That feels like the real $100,000. I think Team Cowplan has what it takes. We've been through so much together. It's down to us, Team Llama against Team Cowplan. If I was to win this, my mother and father would be so proud of me. Welcome back, Team Llama and Team Cowplant. So Team Llama, you won the skills challenge. You will get the advantage in the elimination challenge. It all comes down to this. Only two teams remain, and one will win $100,000, y'all. <laughs> to determine the winner of Sparked, your final challenge is called Play With Life. This challenge will demonstrate relationships that each of you have to The Sims. This is the challenge that we have all been waiting for, expressing our full creativity, no limitations or anything. This is everything we've got in one challenge, and this is our chance to share our story. So teams, you have 15 minutes of prep time to talk with each other about your lives. Find the common thread to create a master story as a team. That thread will become the basis for creating three sims. A build that will be a stage for your story, and of course, the story itself, which you will present in the final video to our judges. I really want to see the contestants really pushing the boundaries, thinking outside the box, and really trying to be creative and unique. The only advice that I would give the contestants is to do it in the most innovative way possible. I'm definitely excited to see what everybody does. I think that we're going to see some stuff that's entirely next level, so I'm really excited to see what everybody comes up with. After your prep time, you have six hours to create your final gameplay product, and that includes the time working with the video editor. And when that begins, of course, Team Llama, you get the 15-minute head start. I know I've been throwing some twists at you, but I promise this time will be no <laughs> twists, okay? Thank Thanks. you. And the winner will be our very first Spark champion. <laughs> so do your best, give it your all, and good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so what's your story? Why do you play with life? I love using it to figure out fashion and even just home decor. Actually, in my like day-to-day -day job, I don't get to be very creative. I am a YouTuber who primarily focuses on building and renovations and recreations. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Growing up, pressures from family, myself, kind of stressed me out. In university, it's so difficult and sometimes it gets kind of lonely when you're studying all by yourself and there's always so much pressure to do well. The Sims really was a way for me to rediscover something that I loved. I could do whatever I want, I could be whatever I want. And that's why I really love the game. And I play to represent. Sims helped me come to terms with my sexuality and now the fact that I get to do that for other people. Yeah. 
Through playing The Sims, I figured out that I'm a pretty creative person. And it also made me super comfortable with my sexuality. All throughout university, I went through a questioning phase and just playing The Sims and being able to tell the stories that I wanted to tell in my own personal little space really helped me to become more comfortable in who I was. So what do all of these have in common? They're all very different. Oh, yeah. They're very different. Team Llama's road to the finale has been quite the roller coaster. Personalities clashed early as the team tried to find their footing. Dr. Gluon's like, here's my idea, and that's it. And the results reflected that lack of teamwork. Judges, which team didn't cut it? The Llama today. As the competition continued, Team Llama seemed stuck in their ways. It's going to be the theme of the whole thing. I had an ending I thought about. Well, Dr. Gluon takes control again. There was a seed of an idea there, but I'm not sure if that seed really blossomed. But then it clicked. So, retired star. X Mirror Mirror's creative take in the last elimination challenge pushed the team out of their comfort zone. If we get sent home for what we have, then you know what? I don't know what else to do. And blew away the judges. Whoa! I loved it! <laughs> the team that's gonna win the Supernatural Elimination Challenge is Team Llama! Yeah. <laughs> and suddenly, Team Llama became a contender. Maybe we might be really on to something here. Llama Street continued in the skills challenge. That's Roger. He comes on weekends to do a little house cleaning. <laughs> My vote's gonna have to go to Dr. Gluon and Team Llama for this. Team Llama, you won the skills challenge. And now with X Mirror Mirror and Dr. Gluon on the same page. Yeah, I got it. And Sim Lissy's consistent builds. Yeah. Team Llama, they're just one challenge away from $100,000. You know, why Why do you play with life? Like, what do you get out of it? Showing the creative. Showing the creativity, That's yeah. Creative. I, I mean, I would say the same thing. I've been playing The Sims for years. I think I started somewhere between the ages of, like, 9 and 11. Uh-uh. I know she not talking to her mom. Oh, no. When I joined YouTube, I couldn't find any Sim that looked anything like me. I came out with the melanin pack that added about a 30 additional skin tones to the game. It made it so much easier to have a more accurate depiction for those who look like me. What did people say to you about video games? When I was younger, you know, I was like, you felt guilty about it, right? Because that's what nerds do. Is there any time in your life where you felt like someone was judging you for that? Um, I mean, people picked at me for playing video games and being a girl. Okay. For the final elimination challenge, I have an idea, and it has to do with bullying. I dealt with it growing up, and it seems like my teammates also had similar stories. So we want to make x men male out of the face of this issue that we've all dealt with. Could you do like a bully voice? Hey, girls playing video games? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like really obnoxious. That's gonna make me, that's gonna make me look real good. <laughs> yeah. Team Cowplant's journey began in the shadow of Team Gnome. Will it be Team Gnome or Team Cowplant? Team Gnome. Woo! <laughs> They finished runner-up to Gnome in the first skills challenge. Congratulations! And their Gossip Girl-inspired story landed them second once again in the elimination challenge to Team Gnome. Team Gnome! <laughs> but in the second elimination challenge, Team Cowplant and Team Gnome found themselves shockingly in the bottom two. The team that is being eliminated is Team Gnome. I'm in complete shock. Then, in the head-to-head -head challenge, Steffel Sims was unable to continue in the competition. And the last thing I want to do is hold my team back because I couldn't do what I needed to do for them. The English Simmer took her spot, and Team Cowplant made its way to the finale, one challenge away from winning it all. Would it be too textbook to each create our own sim self? Maybe if we just, like, take a piece of ourselves and put it into a sim. I didn't have a lot of friends growing up, so I would just kind of stay in and play sims, and that was my way of expressing myself. I feel like playing The Sims has enriched my life because I've met so many amazing people. I'm a huge Sims fan. I think a lot of people mainly know me for playing Just Dance on, uh, on Twitch and on YouTube. But honestly, I've actually been a huge fan of The Sims since I was like six years old. I'm not gonna lie, when I play The Sims, I am playing like the best version of me. Like my Sim is like super smart, has like maxed out all her skills. Whereas in real life, I'm just like, I don't know, sitting at home alone. Besides The Sims, my other passion is dancing. I've been dancing 
for as long as I can remember, and I do it professionally. I like creating different choreographies with dancing, but I think that also leads into just creating in The Sims. We could go down the route of like a kid who maybe feels left out or imaginary friends. <gasps> yeah. People in this kid's mind. Yeah. And like one of them's a very realistic sim, and then the other one is like more light and like. Yeah. So it's like one main sim, two kind of like angel, devil yeah. sims. I love this. Okay, let's get to work. Let's do it. It is huge for us. We get an extra 15 minutes to work on our final creation. And that 15 minutes can go a long, long way. I got it. Once as a girl who loved video games, she played games day and night. In school, one of her classmates, Clem, picked on her to no end. My initial idea was going to try to capture and depict all of us in our element as Sims and trying to find a way to integrate all of us at the end of the video. But they was like, no, I think we should just focus on you. We should build a story around you. Have it start off when you're little and then show your experiences with gaming and The Sims throughout your life. And I was like, okay. The whole college idea. I was thinking you could start me off with my mom buying me my PC. It would be like a holiday, like a Christmas present. Okay, that works. Hey, we missed you. Oh. It's so quiet in here. People watching at home are just gonna be like, oh, you have six hours, it's not that big of a deal. It's, it's a big deal. It goes by so fast. Just tell me what you want and I'll make it. Be inspired by Ashley. I would make them as an adult. Young adult or adult? Uh, young young adult. adult, okay, yeah. Little Siha, Team Cowplant Stylist, starts by creating the Sims, or human characters in the story, choosing everything from clothes to hair color. Yes, yeah, that's nice. Okay. With each detail, a major decision. Mm, do you yeah. wear those like power heels to yeah, wear? Yeah, I do. Heels or wedges? I wear like stilettos. <laughs> oh my god. The plan is for Little Siha to create all of the Sims and create this character that we have envisioned in our heads and bring that to life. Let's try the blue, like the light blue. Oh, no, Ooh. those ones. These ones? Yeah. Yeah, okay. that's nice. She's adorable. Okay. I like her. Cool. Cute. There you go, that's a good angle. Clem was supposed to symbolize all the bullies and all the naysayers and all the doubters and the people in, that come through your life that tell you that you can't do what you want to do or you shouldn't play video games or you shouldn't do X, Y, Z, whatever it is in life you want to do. And my mommy sim was supposed to represent all of the supportive people in your life who push you to go forth with your goals and do what has to be done. Set your camera up, you know, build what we need to show. Set it up for what we, what the important places. Team Llama's builder, Sim Lissy's job is to focus on the buildings and the structures for the story. Built and designed from scratch, these intricate creations provide the physical settings for the characters. I was trying to think of different like struggles that could happen. My background with starting to play The Sims, I started when I was in college. Hi guys, it's Simulsi here, so welcome to another apartment renovations. And I primarily am a builder. I've always been interested in art, and I think that's probably where the connection in The Sims came from, just like doing art my entire life and applying that to builds and like design, like I think just kind of all work together. Everything I love about building and decorating in The Sims, I feel like this apartment has. I want to win this competition because I think it would validate all of the hard work and the hours. I am pretty nervous and unsure of exactly how everything's going to go, but I am really grateful and excited to be a part of this competition. My stomach is like <laughs> I'm excited to show off something personal. It's like you said, like regardless of if we win or not, it'll be so nice to be able to tell our stories. The plan is for me to build everything that we need to create the story. So I'm recreating my office, I'm creating a dining room and a bedroom for the children, and then we are also creating a gay pride parade and stage for our final scene of our video. Somebody here has been to a lot of concerts because they're doing good with putting this stage together. I was just about to say, you know, with two people that are very familiar for being on stage, this might be uh, uh, something that you guys can break apart and let us know how accurate it is or not. It looks good, huh? 
Do I need stairs on the other side? Is that the most realistic yeah. thing? Ashley executes for English Simmer. Where's the paper with the stuff in the order I'm supposed to record it? The toughest part about this challenge is trying to relax because when you get nervous, that's when you start to screw stuff up. You can start me off in my bedroom. Yeah. You show me getting bullied at school. Bringing bullying into the story, people will see this and feel like, okay, I'm not the only person going through this. I'm not the only person that deals with bullying. So I overhear Team Llama, and from what I'm hearing, their story sounds super similar to ours. Like, she doesn't necessarily need to be, like, bullied. It could be, like, she's not talking she's to anybody. Really because she's really isolated. Yeah, she's isolated. And we can just, like, zoom in on it. And then it's time for the storyteller to tie everything together by directing the interactions and movements of the characters. Team Cowplant's story is a discovery of self-expression with all of our stories mixed together. We all kind of got into The Sims because you need a creative outlet in life. And I feel like for all three of us, Sims really was our creative outlet in very different scenarios. I think we've taken elements of all of why we got into it and what we do now and incorporate that into a really cool storyline. It's good to see that they seem to be all working really well together. We have not yet seen them all work together right. as a team. And it That's seems like English Sims are settling in really nicely, which is good to see. There's a war inside of our heads. Do we listen to the voice that lifts us up or the one that puts us down? So we're working off of our script. I'm not a great voice actress, but I'm still having fun with it. While she met some very rude people along the way who doubted her hobby, she met some really, really supportive friends. Wava nubu, naba flune. What's a new bikini lorey? It's kind of a bold move for both teams to be incorporating music right now. What do you think about her deciding to sing? I, I think it's really cool. I think it's a very fresh approach to it, which actually we haven't seen during the entire competition. We heard anyone I'm sing here yet. for creativity and I'm here for doing something new. She's not just gonna sing, but it's gonna be in Simlish, which exactly. is a nice Even extra better. touch on top of it. Yeah. Mira Mira might be coming for you now. I know. <laughs> Girls don't play video games. Go have a tea party instead. You're so mean. <laughs> Dr. Gluon and X Mira Mira they have great voices and like personalities, and I think we're really able to show the characters really well because they're really like really good at it. We're not gonna show you what she did in real life. We're gonna show you what she wanted to do. Wow. And that's something that Simmers can relate to. You got to sing in Simlish too, right? I did get to sing in Simlish. I was at home playing. <laughs> I turn on the jukebox, and I'm like, this song sounds familiar. <laughs> yes, my song, Me Versus Us, is in the game. I wonder if you're the only person who's both a Sims voice and also has a song in the game. I hope so. I don't know, but I hope so, too. <laughs> that's the first one. Yeah, that's the first one. Yeah, if we can just get, like, the bridge. Oh, that's a great Yeah, then we shot. can transition to this and then maybe paint across the front of the houses. You got it. Right now, I'm feeling pretty nervous because I'm not sure how it's all going to come together. Are we going to be able to edit it? We are now getting into editing. And luckily, little Siha has created a list. So all we have to do is kind of go through and tick off the boxes. So you can do a quick shot of the dining room scene. So this, this one right here. Yeah. My teammates are very good at staying calm, but the $100,000 is right there, and it's waiting for us to take it. So I'm breaking out a little bit right now. Teams are in their editing process. This time, Dave, I want you to go in there and check on them. And let me know what's going on. OK, let's do it. on my team. All right, I'm going. Make sure they're doing all right. See you guys. Cow plan, how's it going? Hey. Hey, guys. What are you up to? We are editing. What's the kind of theme of the story you're going for, just from the kind of overview? Expression and becoming comfortable in yourself. And we all, all three of us had very different stories. Have you been able to kind of find a common thread through your own experiences to tie this together? Yeah, we found a really good way to tie in all of our own personal experiences into one main theme. Is this the theme that's gonna win you $100,000? We hope so. <laughs> Mama. Hey, how are you? Good. So why don't you guys tell me a little bit about your theme? Well, the theme is more about overcoming negativity, basically. And is this kind of personal story coming from all of you? Is it, is it coming from one of you? All of us by way of one of us. Yeah, yeah that's a great way to put it. 
So I gotta check in with you, Sim. Let's see. See a lot of scatter here. How are you feeling about things? I'm tidy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's too late, late. Mira. I, I don't seeing. want to get involved in your process. <laughs> you have about an hour and a half left. It's gonna go okay. fast, so use your time wisely, and we'll see you soon. Oh, I can't watch it. It's freaking me out. Putting so much of myself into this video is terrifying because they will critique this and this is the hardest thing to show. It seemed pretty comfortable, pretty confident. Uh, well, both teams definitely seem to be taking the personal approach to it of actually taking personal elements of their life to incorporate into the challenge. And that's what I'll be looking for. So I really hope that they can have those elements really shine through and that that, you know, that emotion doesn't get watered down, you know? It, it can be a little hard when you have three cooks at the kitchen, so I really hope they're able to tell like a powerful story still. Between Team Llama, Team Cow Plant, how are you feeling? Who's, who's got the upper So hand? between Llama and Cow Plant, I just don't know right now. I didn't see enough in there, you know? I, I think it's neck and neck. It's a hard one right now. Not this part. But like skip to the next sim, yeah, I started creating another sim. Clip a couple of seconds of it and maybe speed it up. This final challenge is very, very personal and it would make me so happy if telling my story could inspire somebody else to go forth and do what they want to do in life. Because we are using three different voices, we didn't want each part to sound so separate from one another. So Little Sea Heart finds one track that we can use throughout the whole video. Is our music all happy throughout the whole thing? Or is no. What do we got, 10 minutes? 10 minutes. We have 10 minutes left, and now we are doing the audio on top of the whole thing because we haven't done any audio yet. We are all panicking at this point. I would like to watch it before we do. Yeah. Once again, we're down to the wire, but there's $100,000 on the line. We're not gonna give up. I think we should save it and export it. It is coming so close to the wire. In my head, I'm just like, Gus, please, just get this out so we have something to show. Okay, so we gotta export. export. Yeah. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. All right, teams, time is up. For the last time, hands up. Rayvon walks in right as we hit export. Oh my God. Team Llama, since you had the advantage from the skills challenge, you will be up first. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. We're ready. All right. $100,000 is on the line, y'all. My heart is racing, it's out of my chest. I feel like I'm gonna throw up, I'm getting nervous. I'm like, please, they just need to hear me speak and listen to this video. Welcome Team Llama for the grand prize of $100,000. You were asked to create a video based on a common thread that ties your personal stories together. So Team Llama, tell us your story. Okay. Uh... <laughs> it's all right, breathe. I, I've tried, I'm sorry, okay. I just hope you guys like it. I just wish we were going fast so we could just like Get not it out think of the way. about it. This is the story of a girl who overcomes negativity to express her creativity and to follow her dreams by playing with life. This is very similar mm -hmm. kind of story. Very. Somewhere in New York lived a little girl who loved to express her creativity. It shined in everything she did. At school, one of her classmates, Clem, mercilessly teased her. Yeah, what are you getting for Christmas? I'm actually hoping to get a PC. Why? Because I really, really want to play video games. What? Girls don't play video games. Go have a tea party instead. You're so mean. <laughs> she cried to her mom about how Clem picked on her and how it made her feel. 
Her mother was a very supporting and loving woman. She always encouraged a little girl to do exactly what made her happy. When Christmas time came around, she bought her her very own PC. Shortly after that, the little girl discovered The Sims. She created many, many cute Sims with zany storylines. In The Sims, she lived her wildest dreams. As the years went on, her love for gaming grew. While she met some very rude people along the way who doubted her hobby, she met some really, really supportive friends. Wabba nubu, nabla flune. What's a newbie, genie lore? Na fa boo, na be. Girl, you sound so good. What is that, Sims talk? Yeah, it is. You watch all those people on SimTube. Why not just try it yourself? Games? Girls don't play games. Girls are trash at games. My kill streak is through the roof. After chatting with her friend, she thought about the conversation they had long and hard. She made the decision to try and show her creativity to the world, even that raggedy old Clem. She used The Sims as a way to express herself. Sometimes she even recreated less than desirable situations with her own preferred outcome. So who was this girl, you ask? That girl was me. Hey guys, it's X Mira Mira, and here's how I play with life. Mira Mira, how are you feeling right now, uh, seeing that come to life on the screen? It feels freaking amazing. I'm going to cry. I don't want to cry. Oh, it feels really good. It, it's very personal. Even still as an adult, you know, we all deal with, like, toxicity, I feel like. Um, and uh, this is, like, really personal. <laughs> it's actually personal for all of us. Um, video games were kind of for... I see the nerds, which I fell into, so I got a lot of bullying growing up, and games should be for everybody, you know, so. Sim, let's see. It's, yeah, it's also very personal to me. You know, I spent a lot of time working on my degree, and after I started, like, doing The Sims professionally, I really felt like, is this what I should be doing? And I feel like I'm doing the right thing, and I feel really proud of that, and very proud of our story, and I was happy to tell it through Mira's story. Judges. I tried to make it through the entire show without uh, crying, but Same. to have supportive parents and to have supportive friends that you could go and, and visit throughout this journey. Anytime somebody achieves their dreams, it's always a, 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 something that pulls my heartstrings. And that's what it's about. I'm not supposed to be crying. I wasn't trying to cry. I'm so bad. <laughs> it was a beautifully done story. Definitely something that I feel like most gamers, specifically female gamers, can totally relate to. Growing up, I like didn't even voice that I was a gamer. Like my mom didn't even know until I was doing it professionally that I even liked games. She was like, I thought that was your brother's thing. And that transition back into like it being you the whole time narrating it. Oh my God, that ending really struck a chord. Thank you. Great theme. There, there is a place for everybody in whatever they want to do, whatever they want to accomplish. But probably the thing that I liked most about this is I couldn't tell where the building stopped and the Sims started and the storyline began. They were all weaved in seamlessly. That was by far the best edited video we've seen in this competition yet. So you guys did just a fantastic job on this one. We know that your competition, Team Cow Plant, they're really a great team. And they've also done some amazing work. So we're gonna see theirs next, and we'll be back with you to make the final decision. I'm... My nerves are shot. Yeah. You did so good. Thank you. Hello. <sighs> I gotta see what they have. So for the grand prize, $100,000, you were asked to create a video based on a common thread that ties your personal stories together. Tell us about yours. 
Everybody has two voices in their head. One that tells us to express ourselves and one that tells us to suppress ourselves. Sometimes those voices are so powerful that they seem real. All right, take it away. Expression is about turning your true self outward, which is ironic because it is so often kept inward. Growing up is hard enough without someone there to tell you you're doing it wrong. You're told to set yourself in a certain mold, not too little, not too much, just enough. There's a war inside of our heads. Do we listen to the voice that lifts us up or the one that puts us down? Finding ways to get your creativity out can be such a relief, but sometimes it can be easy to doubt yourself. You fall into the safe, stable option, and you take the path that will make your friends and family proud. From the outside, looking in, you have the perfect life, and that same voice remains in my head, telling me to keep going. But my creativity is all around me, pushing me to escape the mundane reality. Which voice should I listen to? Once you finally break out, there's no going back. The negative voices start to disappear. You take control of your own narrative and slowly become more comfortable than you've ever been before. Choose to surround yourself with those that will build you up and continue to challenge you to outwardly express yourself. You don't have to hide who you are, and you can't, because it shines brighter than anything you've ever known. Whether you express yourself through style, through creativity, or through your sexuality, just do you and own it. Thank you, team Cowplant. Little Siha, you seem very emotional at the beginning of this video. <laughs> just a little bit. Yeah? Um, tell, tell us why. I think I'm just really happy that I finally got to tell something personal. To be able to put something out that is like all of our personal stories in one is really nice. Dr. Ashley, <laughs> you all right over there? <laughs> My story was the second stage, I guess. I work a good uh, office job after I got my, you know, business and finance degree. It is a dream job and I love it. And it's, you know, so many people would kill for my position, but it doesn't leave much room for creativity. And that's why I love this. <laughs> English Simmer, how do you connect? Playing The Sims played a massive role in my coming out, like just realizing who I was. All right. Judges, Kelsey, let's start with you. I'm the, I need a second. <laughs> Sorry. Wait, let me, can I jump in? Well, yeah, well, please, can you jump you, in You first? take a moment. And let me just say thank you guys for sharing something so personal. It's very easy to hide behind facades and, and not live your best life. And it takes a lot of courage to be able to break out of that and strive for the things that really make you happy. So I think that message came through very clearly through each one of your monologues. And I really appreciate you guys being vulnerable and sharing that story with everybody. Thank you. Thanks. I absolutely loved it. I thought it was so creative the way that you all three included your story in the narrative. And also, I loved what you wrote. I can only imagine how far the world will go if we allowed more people to be them. Kelsey, you want to add anything? Yeah, I think, I mean, I think Taylor said it uh, really well. Like, there was a lot of really good writing in there. Growing up, I was also told that I was too much. A lot. And I got bullied for it a lot. And I feel like every stage kind of struck a chord. It really felt like there was a part of the story that everyone could really, truly relate to and like finding themselves and finally flourishing. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so good job. You guys should be really proud. Such great work. In fact, two great works. It's gonna be a very tough decision for the judges. We're gonna talk about it, and we'll find out who will win the grand prize. Thank you so much. I think both teams just absolutely brought their A game, and we weren't backing down. Even though our stories were so similar, they were yet so different. 
It's a sim off. Yeah, <laughs> it's a real sim off, man. I don't know how the judges are gonna choose yeah. it. Yeah, I'm gonna be very nervous. I'm gonna be channeling the llama over and over again. Llama, llama, llama. <laughs> Say llama, the winner. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Telepathy. mentally, exactly. <laughs> All right, judges, we saw two incredible presentations by two very strong teams. You have a really tough decision to make. Dave, I want to start with you. I'm agonizing here. Like, on, honestly, I feel like both teams rose to the challenge equally. I think they both did almost everything right and very little wrong. So now I'm like searching for like, okay, what was the difference? On one side, we have Team Llama. They were the underdogs of this competition. They didn't come out of the gates very strong. And look at where they are now, you know, on, on the top. And then you have Team Cow Plant, who has never worked together as a team before this elimination challenge. And they came together and told a very powerful story with three voices kind of melding into one. So, I mean, I don't know, man. As you can see, I'm just like going back and forth and I, I, I don't know who to choose on this one. So tell me your thoughts on Team Cow Plant. And... Okay, so I've marinated. Okay. First with Llama. I thought it was seamless. I thought it was really beautifully done. I think one flaw that I noticed is that the bullying felt a little bit cheesy. Comical. A little too comical. Yeah, okay. That could have been really stronger. I also do think that it was like a beautifully, like very realistic story. Where Team Cowplant, I feel like, was a lot more creative. However, they both told the story that they wanted to tell perfectly. Taylor, what about you? There's no right or wrong way to tell your story. And that's what makes this, I think, the hardest because both of them are very valid. They're very relatable. Mm -hmm. You know, when, when something is that close and when all of the particulars are near perfect, when the style is right, when the build is right, when everything is so seemingly perfect, then I think that the only thing that you can do after that is rely on your heart. I love that. I'm feeling pretty excited. I'm also feeling pretty nervous because I don't know what's going to happen. Man, I want the team to win $100,000. I think I would use the money to buy my family a big family trip. We haven't taken one since we were young. I really want to win. That's an achievement. I can say that I did, I achieved. You know, I can make my mom and dad proud. I think winning would mean a lot just because I've been playing this game for 20 years and now competing in a competition and to win would be pretty awesome. I am pretty nervous and unsure of exactly how everything's gonna go, but I am yeah, definitely really grateful and excited to be a part of this competition. Welcome back, Team Llama, Team Cowplant. You both did amazing jobs at your presentations. You should feel very proud of yourselves. The judges, they had a very tough time making this decision. Before I announce the winner, let's start with some thoughts from the judges. Kelsey. Both teams have grown so much. It was beautiful to see both of your guys' works. The, the stories you guys told just hit a chord in all of us. You guys were both so strong and brought everything to this last competition. Dave, as you look at these two teams and think about the journey they've come, what, what goes through your mind? Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> uh, you guys really did such a phenomenal job today. Loved your guys' story. I love the cinematography. Like, it was just so lovely and great to follow. Cowplant, you guys were awesome as well. It was just such a good challenge all the way around. It was agonizing for us over here. It, this was not an easy decision by any stretch of the imagination. And I want to make sure that you guys know that you need to walk out of here with your heads high because y'all crushed this competition, 100%. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Taylor, how are you feeling? I got to say, in regards to the overall competition, like this last challenge here is what I'm most proud of you guys for each individually because the style, the build, the storyline, literally, 
you killed all three of those things. And even bigger than that, I got to know who you guys were, who each and every single one of you guys were through this last challenge. And that's what made this one so exciting, you know, for me personally. So teams, I gotta tell you, they really agonized over this. In fact, it was a split decision. Eventually, because they couldn't find anything wrong with what you guys did. They just landed on the story that moved them the most. So with that being said, the winner of Sparked and the winner of $100,000 is Team Llama. Finally, finally got it together and we were able to work together well as a unit under pressure. I am so happy right now. I am in complete like shock that we actually won because we started off on such a low. It was kind of a struggle for us to get our momentum and figure out how we like work together. And the moment was like completely unreal. This whole thing has been such a roller coaster ride. Our team has come a long way being at the bottom for so long. And hearing these judges' feedback, it was always like, they just start seeing our vision. And then we made a change. By far the best showing you guys have had at this competition yet. I loved it! <laughs> the team that's going to win the Supernatural Elimination Challenge is Team Lama! Super roller coaster for being at the bottom and then all of a sudden, like, coming in and winning. And it's so exciting, I'm so, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. And for you watching from wherever you are, your Sims challenge is live now. Simply head into The Sims 4 on the platform of your choice to find new exclusive community challenges for in-game stylists, builders, and storytellers. And by submitting your community creations, you and your creations have a chance to be on a future season of this show. Yes. That's right. Maybe the next season of Spark could feature you. Head to thesims.com slash challenge now for all the details and check out the new challenge tab in game. We can't wait to see what you create.